Hello and welcome to the Spectrum Show 16K edition. In this series we'll be taking a look exclusively at 16K games for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Tonight's game is Speed Duel, released by DK Tronics in 1983. The inlay has no story or hints about what the game is, just the loading instructions. Once the game was loaded, however, we get a choice of tracks and opponent's skill level. There is also an option to practice. The idea of the game is simple. You race a computer-controlled opponent around a track, and you have to win. There's just one opponent to beat, and setting the skill level to 1 or 2 makes things quite easy, although some of the tracks can be quite difficult to navigate. Controls can be keyboard or joystick, and consist of accelerate, brake, left and right. Once in the race we get a view of your car from just behind it and slightly above. As the corners approach you get warnings from roadside signs, and steering the car takes you round them, if you don't overcook the controls of course, which is quite easy to do. The car steers in increments, and it's very easy to keep the key press too long or the joystick held in the direction too long, and this causes the car to career towards the edge of the road, and you quickly have to drag it back. At lower speeds this isn't too bad, but get above 50 and it can be deadly. Once you crash, several things can happen, depending on the position of your car. If you're pointing directly at the edge of the road, you'll probably suffer a series of instant crashes that end the game. If you're just in front of the opponent car, they'll probably crash into you. But if you get lucky and the angle of your car is right, you can carry on. And this is the main issue with the game. One crash can actually end the race. Graphics wise it's not bad for a 16k game in 1983. The road moves smoothly enough and the car has a few frames of animation when turning. Response to control is crisp, which as mentioned before isn't always a good thing. Sound is fine too with nice engine sounds, but sadly no skidding sound. The first track, track A, consists of just left hand bends, but all the others offer a variety of bends in both directions, some long, some short, and the more difficult tracks have slight direction variations, meaning you are always correcting your position. The skill level of the opponent is just their speed, so for example skill level 1 means that they drive at 30 miles per hour, so you obviously have to go faster to beat them. Speed is in steps of 10 miles per hour, so skill level 2 will take them to 40, and so on. Driving around the tracks at anything faster than 50 is very tricky due to the control system, so this can become a very challenging game at the higher difficulties. Overall, not a bad game then, quite challenging at higher levels and quite enjoyable. I'll be back with another 16K game soon. Thanks for watching.